in the larger graphics that you see, we're looking at a PC or laptop uh, sized screen. And there along the uh, left side, you see all of the ships that are in view. You see below that an overview of the entire area we're looking at in a map view. You also see a satellite imagery view in the, in the larger picture. And I've actually clicked on a particular vessel to get its information. And so I know about the Sun Coast, where it's been, where it's going. I'm able to click uh, on a highlight and actually go get more information, things like pictures and all uh, of it. But then in the second uh, and lower uh, PC screen, what you'll notice is I've decided that I want to intercept the Sun Coast. Uh, and based upon its speed and heading and my current speed and heading, and I, I'm picturing myself as the second boat, uh, I'm able to create what's called a compass rose. So I see exactly how I need to turn my vessel to be able to intercept that vessel. And then you'll see uh, a little white pop-up window appears that actually gives me directions. It says, based upon what I'm doing right now at my current speed, if I turn a particular uh, direction to a particular heading, I will intercept that boat in a certain number of minutes. And if I increase my speed or the boat, in the other vessel increases its speed, you'll see that the solution would be updated about every 10 seconds during this exercise. And then on the small screens, what you see is Windows Mobile uh, being used on a, a Motorola industrial handheld uh, that the actual boat operators, the, the authorities' boats, the sheriff's boats, the range boats, if you will, um, would have those devices in hand and be able to get the same information that we see on the larger screens, but get it in a format that makes sense for them, that they can look at and quickly determine what they need to do rather than you know, have a graphically uh, intense view. For the Empire Challenge, in 2009, the U.S. Navy and the counter-narco-terror uh, folks asked CSC to create an interface which would transmit data across the web about the location of vessels in a particular area of the Chesapeake Bay, just outside Lord Baltimore's Bay, in which we would do an exercise and help them do interception and interdiction of particular vessels that happened to be uh, sailing or, or motoring by. What we were able to do is create a solution based upon data that was coming in on each vessel's heading and speed, uh, direction, history, and so on, so that we could literally create a compass rose and a solution to say to any particular uh, from registered authorities, if, if you turn a certain direction and move at a certain speed for a certain amount of time, you'll intercept the boat that you're looking at right now uh, in so many minutes. And then making that available to both the folks on land on the larger screen and then uh, also to folks at sea uh, through making this available on a mobile platform was uh, made possible and demonstrated successfully uh, for the particular target audiences. So in summary, TrueTrack is proven technology that's been used for the last 15 years by the U.S. government. It continues to be improved through new development, uh, new sensors. It's an exceptional value for state, local, regional, and commercial entities because it leverages this massive investment by the U.S. government in a technology that continues to stay on the leading edge. SureTrack continues to move ahead in data sharing by the web services that Daniel has just described to you. And this certainly will be a great benefit to numerous users in the field, whether on handheld devices or mobile platforms. The ability to share data is very much the uh, part of the SureTrack system. Because we have a patent license, CSC does have a patent license on this technology, uh, we can make custom uh, modifications to this to uh, address desired capability or feature that's not currently in SureTrack. So we're uh, ready, willing, and able to provide uh, end users with new features or capabilities uh, if they would like them. And our maintenance and our help desk are existing, already serving the SureTrack community. And that help desk is available to new users as they come on board. If you'd like more information about the SureTrack system, please feel free to contact Russ Miller, Daniel Munyon, or Joe Anderson, or either of our Navy partners, Gary Parson and Fat Hand.